you never know which way it's gonna push you. Where will you reach the bottom? Was very difficult because you yeah, just have to be very careful because it's tricky. There is strong you never know what it's gonna look like. Visibility is very poor. Hi everyone, my name is André Tsorkat, I'm the course director at All for Diving in Phuket, Thailand. In this video, we're going to talk about something a little different. We'll talk about equipment, compression, tech diving, what is it like to be an instructor. The reason why people dive is to go see some cool stuff underwater. We're going to talk about a wreck, historical wreck, not known as much as it should be. That wreck is the Empress of Ireland. So, let's go back in 1906, they built the Empress of Ireland in 1906. It was a passenger boat owned by uh, Canadian Pacific Steamship Corporation and it was traveling from Canada to England. The Empress of Ireland was considered the world's greatest transportation system. It was a majestic luxurious boat. It was the most uh, famous boat at that time. Until the Titanic came, once the Titanic uh, gone, Empress of Arden became again the most prestigious boat uh, going. And two years later, in 2014, on May 28th, Empress of Arden leave for his 96th trip so they leave Quebec City on May 28th, uh, late in the day. And uh, May 29, early in the morning, so just a few hours after the boat left port, a uh, tragedy happened. So it was a thick fog on the St. Lawrence River, and Perez decided to change his path and get out of the lane way for the boat. But at the same time, Norwegian collier stores that move left to give room to the Empress of Arden to pass. But Empress decided to go back to his regular path. So when Empress of Arden came back to his place, store that hit him right frontward, right on the side of the Empress of Arden, which made a big hole and the boat started sinking right away. They were not too far from the shore, but there's some other boat that got there within 30 minutes. And although they had plenty of life uh, boat, they had another boat right there ready to pick up people. Uh, still, it was a big tragedy because the boat sank in 14 minutes, so they didn't have time to put out those life boats. People didn't have time to get out with the panic of everybody. Sadly, on 1,477 passengers, there's only 465 who survived. So there's over 1,000 people that was dragged down with the Empress of Ireland when it sank. Uh, so, big tragedy. It sank uh, May 1914, and we know that uh, the World War started in uh, July 1914, just a little bit after. So we didn't hear much about the Empress of Ireland tragedy because there were bigger news, which was World War starting. Then late in the 20th century, the diver rediscovered the Empress of Ireland <clears throat> and then went crazy with uh, the boat and the history in it. They took out the, the big bell of the boat. Uh, 
the navigating system and anything, all the cutlery. Uh, they even take out this brass window, you know, round window. They take them all out. Anything they could take that could have a certain value, they strip the boat from everything. And uh, <clears throat> in the late uh, 20th century, tech diving wasn't developed, so people were diving uh, like recreational divers do. And because of that, they had many uh, dead uh, diving on the boat and a lot, a lot, a lot of injury. So government wanted to do something about it, uh, but there's no rule about wreck that exists, so they could not enforce anything about the wreck. So solution they find to do is they deter the site where the wreck is. So recall an archaeologist's uh, importance and though it became protected under the Cultural Property Act and was listed in the Registry of Historical Site of Canada. So the site became uh, protected so people could not take anything away from that site. And then with tech diving developing with the years and now it became a possible dive. Uh, any tech diver can go dive from this uh, magnificent Empress of Ireland that is uh, sleeping at about 40 meters down in the St. Lawrence River. Me, I'm from Canada. The boat was in my area. So uh, Canada, we dive uh, seasonal. This winter, it's too cold to dive. But uh, every year, uh, at the end of my diving season, my diving teaching season, going to the Empress of Ireland was my little reward. So. My little treat uh, was diving the magnificent Empress of Ireland. So it's worth get more information on it. It uh, was a famous boat. Uh, there were famous people on the boat at the time uh, that uh, sank with the boat. So it's worth to read a little bit more about it. If you like the kind of subjects, follow my channel, my YouTube channel. If you have any subject you want me to talk about, please feel free to let me know. If it's a public matter, I will make a video about it, or I can answer you privately if you have any question. And on this, have a good day, and see you next time.